amigo. I heard she's Jade's ex-girlfriend. And then she said that Jade might be hiding in Savannah's apartment back in Melbourne. And he reckons she just came back to suss out the situation with Olivia and Matt. Well, she did say she was only staying for two days and she's still here. Roman! Yeah, I know she and Jade used to be close. Just don't be too quick to take her at face value, that's all. Look, if I see her sprouting a tail or horns, I'll be sure to leap into action. Good morning. Hi, how's my car? Uh, well, we're just waiting on a part to come in. See, most of your newfangled cars are as much computer as they are automobile these days. And, and you know, some of them even have CPUs built into them. And mine has... Well, at the moment, a paperweight. But we've got a new one on the way. Should be here in a few days, a week at the outside. OK, and then that will fix it? Well, hopefully, yes. Unless your car's got a virus. <laughs> what, cars get viruses now as well? How should I know? Thanks. So, um, how long were you and Jade? You know. <laughs> Small town. Did Ashan tell you? No, Frank. How does Frank know? Well, my guess would be Norman. And how does... Never mind. Uh, we dated for a couple of years. Do you know where she is now? No, that's what I'm trying to find out. She's missing. Since when? Six months, give or take a week or two. But I saw her when I got here. Saw her? Have you reported this to the police? No, why would I report this to the police? Seeing a missing person is important to a missing person's case. Okay, I get that now. Where's the police station? Out the door, turn left, go up the main street, and it's just before the park ranger's office. Go on. Right. Hey, don't I know you from somewhere? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, sure I do. I can't put my finger on it. I'm Lily. I'm Savannah. Are you from Melbourne? Yes. Did you study medicine? No. Sorry, I, I trained in Melbourne. It's been a while since I was there. You're Lily the doctor. Um, we're both staying at the bed and breakfast. Oh, of course. Well, finally nice to meet you. <laughs> hey. Did you notice anything different about your room last night? Mm, no. I found a cake on my bedside table. No cakes, no mints, no nothing. I guess you were just lucky. <laughs> lucky? Hardly. It was nice to meet you. I will see you around. Thanks. Good morning. <laughs> How can I assist you? Alfred. Yes? Did you just make me walk down the street to continue a conversation? Well, it's hardly appropriate to make a missing persons report at a mechanics now, is it? <clears throat> so, you saw Jade Stanton. Stanton? Where did this meeting occur? We met at the park. When was this meeting? July 12th. How long did this meeting take? I don't know, five minutes, maybe less? You drove all the way here for a five minute meeting with your ex-girlfriend? No. Just like I told the park ranger the other day, I came here to find Sonigsberg. And Jade was just- Yes? Do you have the faintest idea where she is or not? Are you telling me everything? Yes. When, when she left, it's just that we assumed she'd return to Melbourne. Assumed? Well, she just took off. You know, took the car. That was that. That was that? Yes. No leads then? No. You were shaping up to be the best lead we've had so far.
Oh, I'm fine. You're still going to have dinner with us tonight? Sure. Hey, Maxwell, you don't, you don't know whether, that is to say, did you or Norman, are you guys... What? You didn't put a small cake in my room last night, did you? Bit of hospitality? No. It's a good idea, though. I'll uh, get Norman onto that. Although he might be a bit reluctant after the uh, trouble with the mint. Indeed. <laughs> it's all right, I'll talk him around. I love cake. Yum! I'll see you around seven. need a vacuum cleaner. I'm open to religion, but Dad says I can make my own decisions about God when I'm older. Tupperware isn't really my dad's thing, and I have no money to give to charity. Are you a mute? I'm not a... We, um, don't get many door-to-door -door salesmen around here. So you have a daughter? She's for sale if you want one. Dad, I can hear you. Because you're not getting ready or finding your soccer shoes. Sorry, we, we have to go on a bit. Training. I'm um, sorry I had to run off last night. I actually wanted to meet you for some time. Why would you want to meet me? <laughs> You're the famous Savannah. After all the stories Jade told. What stories? Just, just thought if I could talk to you, I could fill in some of the blanks. You know, Jade and I have known each other most of our lives, but there was, there was still some parts of her that I couldn't quite reach. Dad, do you know where my other soccer shoe is? Have you looked under your bed? Yes. Well, then that rules that out then, doesn't it? Just look in other places till you find it. Dad! Don't know where it... Okay, you... Go ahead, eh? I'll start looking in here and we can meet halfway. I better go. I'll leave a card. No, we've got a couple of minutes. You just don't mind me disappearing out of sight every now and then. Getting quite used to that, actually. What are you doing here? Stop. What have you got there? Supplies. For tonight. What supplies? You know, the usual. Crackers, dips, party pies. No, no, no. We have new people for dinner. We have to impress. These things do not matter. Crackers don't matter, Maxwell. People? Wait. You mean Savannah. Take all these things back. Here, take this. Buy these things. What are these? They're ingredients. Some of these look familiar. That's right, Maxwell. I'm gonna make my world famous Noki. Hmm? Oh, shit. No. Go. Thank you. So, what were things like before Jade left? Normal. Well, fine. A bit strained. Strained how? Just strained. I thought she'd gone back to you. No, she never contacted me. Not until recently, anyway. But you've seen her since. Here, in Mount Sunshine. Briefly. 
so like she was playing games or something. I, I don't even know whether she's still around. I just want to know what's going on. So if you see her again, you tell her. I just want to talk. That's all. Found it. Just as well I kept looking. That's great, love. You all packed then? If I had my lunch. Well, I'll, um, sandwich as it is then. Dad thinks Mum's gonna come back. Don't you think she will? I bet she loves you lots. Yeah, but that's what makes me think. If she could, she would've. Yeah, I thought you looked familiar. You can keep it if you like. And if you do see Mum again, could you please tell her to come home? Dad sucks at cooking. Is this water? Natural, pure, straight from the tap. Alfred, you got to help me out. I need something a little stronger. I can't help you, kid. Not until Matt gets here and decides whether he's going to press charges. Press charges? Mm hmm Oh, the pub window. All coming back to you now, is it? Alfred, listen to me. I'm not drunk. Look, we bring you in, booze on your breast, having broken into the pub. Really, you've got a problem. The sooner you wake up to that, the better. Alfred, please let me out. I can't do that, Lily. I've already called Matt. He's on the way. Until he gets here, you're just going to have to make do with water. I'm not drunk. Mount Sunshine Herald, Mount Sunshine Herald. What the Herald? Sunshine Herald. Oh, neighborhood watch. Alfred? What are you doing? I'm just delivering your mail. Oh. Like sometimes it all gets dumped on my desk and I would hate for you to miss out on something. Thank you, Alfred. And, and, you know, also, it clutters up my desk and I don't want it cluttered up with all your correspondence. Well, thank you anyway. What are you doing in here today? Well, I was sitting at home thinking that I need more grumpy old men in my life. I think you came in to get the goss on Lily. That's what I think. Oh, I think. I don't know what you're talking about. You know I've got Lily in the cells. And you, being the incorrigible gossip that you are, you want to know all about it. I'll have you know that gossip around here is the news. But if you're going to be like that, I'll read my mail another day. Yes, Lily. What the hell happened to my pop? Want to tell me what happened? I saw a man in your pub. He was injured, he needed help, and the door was locked. I so. couldn't find any sign of the man she's talking about. And she had booze on her breath. So Lily, are you drinking again? I've got to sometimes. Comes and goes. And when it's bad, the drinking helps. Well, it's not too bad in here if I sit still. So I should get arrested more often. What comes and goes? Do you remember the school fire? Of course, I was there. The first week I moved to Mount Sunshine, I had to take splinters out of Jonathan Seller's big toe. And the second week, he and his class were dead. Nothing to do but bury them. And I couldn't even get that right. I'm sure they're dead, but they're not buried anyway. Not for me. Do you see them? Sometimes. Or they're just in my head. I'm not alone there. 
Most people around here said they've seen things. You believe that crap? Spirits and Sonic's birth? Don't even know why I brought it up. It's stupid. Just let her out. Are you sure? It's just I've got all these new forms and things and I, they'll be obsolete. Yeah, Alfred. Okay. You are a very lucky young lady. Go on. Oh. I was just wondering if I could see you tomorrow. My shoes are still playing up. Yeah, sure thing. Just drop by my clinic. Okay. Any news on Jade? Oh, nothing solid. I've had some banner claims to have seen her in town, but I don't know. No one else has reported anything. Do you believe it? I don't know. On the one hand, it seems like a strange thing to be mistaken about, but on the other hand, I don't know. Let's keep an eye on her. She doesn't seem to be in any great hurry to leave town. <laughs> but Matt, I've got to tell you, at this stage, I would hate to see you get your hopes up too much. Do you know something I don't? No. No, but... I just think that if she could come back, she would. People don't just leave Mount Sunshine. Especially not when they've got a young family to take care of. So you've given up? No. But I just think you should look to yourself. Look to Olivia. Don't get your hopes up about something that... Matt! Matt! Hello. I thought we might have seen the last of you. Have you spoken to Matt about Jade? Yep. But not much new information there, so it looks like I'll be here for a few more days. Are you here to borrow a book? Actually, I am here to borrow a librarian. Sounds promising. Mm-hmm. Because I've been reading. That's why you're here. To hold me accountable for my crimes against grammar and good taste. Actually, it's not that bad once you get past the naive, melodramatic tone of it all. Are you finished? And spelling errors? I'm well within my rights to ask you to leave. What I was really interested in was this mention of a walking track. The one that is rumoured to lead directly to the ruins of Sonicsburg for those who can follow. It's by the old church. Okay, well regardless of this landslide, if we're going by foot, it could well be faster. We could probably get there and back before lunch. We? Well, you are the big Sonigsberg expert. Who else would you recommend? <laughs> Olivia? Olivia? Well, if you've finished your homework, you can help me with the glasses. I heard what you told Savannah about your mum. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was really nice. That one checks out. So, that is fire alarms, combustible materials, flame producing appliances. Ah. So what do you make of Savannah anyway? She seems nice. She fits the stories anyway. Stories as mum told you exactly. All the good ones. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, the wiring checks out. You just about done. Oh, yep, that just about wraps it up. So that's you done for another year. Hallelujah. Thanks, Alfred. You are most welcome. See ya. What are you up to? Oh. Oh. Um, the fire inspections. Yeah, I've got uh, three more to do today. What about you? Oh, just taking a break from the office. Listen, um, I just want to say sorry for being a bit snappy the other day. It's okay. I was, I was probably being a bit of a cheese weasel. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. You make it up to me 
sometime? Yeah, I think we could manage that. <laughs> Great. Oh, look, uh, I think you've missed something on your sheet. Huh. Um, i see you back at the office. <laughs> Cheese weasel. <laughs> Fire extinguishers. That was actually kind of a test. You are not allowed to let me leave without taking your expired fire extinguishers. Sorry. That's all right, I won't write it up this time. But I will take these little babies down to the station and have them refilled for you. Okay, see you later. Alfred's kind of an odd man, isn't he? Hold on. Did you find something? It's getting late. Maybe we should head back. But how far off are we? Good question. We're lost, aren't we? No. Just not sure where we are. Look, mate. Maybe I can help. I know where we're going. I'm just not sure that the path goes anywhere. I thought you said you were the expert. Or did you tell me that to impress me? Why didn't you tell me Jade was missing? Well, I, uh... wanted to... Never mind. Savannah! I tried to, but you took off, remember? Why doesn't anyone seem to care that she's gone? Because it's not the first time that she's disappeared like this. In fact, it's the third. Where does she go? I don't know. You are seriously the worst ghost hunter I've ever met. Shut up. Okay, you keep following the path until you get to the old miner's hut, and then at the fork, you turn right. You lead the way. Here. Oh, have you got everything? Yes. Hmm? But are you sure this is the best idea? What do you mean? I mean... The famous Noki. Mm? Since I've known you, you've attempted this recipe on several occasions. Well, I may have dabbled once or twice. Seven instances, Norman, etched in my memory. And? It may be time to concede. No. Norman. I, I was hoping you might go with me through this process. Do you know why we've never made the famous Noki? Hmm? Because it takes faith to make the famous Noki Maxwell. Faith. Something which you lack. Screw this. Yes. Mm. Leave me to my work. I said good wine. What? I'm sure it's nothing, but I keep hearing things. Like what? You think we're being stalked by a ghost? For someone intent on finding a ghost town, you're not very big on ghosts, are you? I don't know. You don't know? Well, to be honest, I've never really thought about it. So, what made you get into your car and drive here to find a haunted town? Look, I'm not very good with emotions, so I'm good with work. So you figured if you call this a work trip, you wouldn't have to admit to anyone or yourself what you're actually doing here. And why are you still here? I came here with my friend. 
My best friend, actually. And where is he? Just disappeared. Went home, I guess. Don't you think that sounds eerily familiar? Oh! Seriously, can you stop being so dramatic? It hurts! What is it? It's a remnant of an old mine shaft. Mine shaft? You are in a mining town. You okay? Fine. Okay, maybe I'm not. Frank will be happy. Another failed attempt at finding Sonigsberg. Or well, maybe it's a ghost that's stopping us. Sure. Sure, conspiracy theorist. You can lead us back to town though, right? I think so. This is the map we've been working on? No wonder we're lost. I was really close this time. I know, I know. I followed the recipe, I do. I've had the best chefs to teach me how to make this. I followed everything step by step. I know. It's a curse. It looks like knocking. Yeah, well. So much for looks. So, what's the plan? Doom. There's no time. What about cheese on toast? Are you serious? We don't seem to have much else. I've got it. I'll make Welsh rabbit. You want to make a rabbit out of cheese? No, rabbit. Have you bitten your tongue or something? No, it's a, mm, it's a classic dish. It's, it's a savoury cheese-based sauce poured delicately over slices of toasted bread. It's simple. It's elegant. I'm a genius. The evening is saved. <laughs> Sounds a lot like cheese on toast. Where's the cheese? Thanks. Anyway, I think I ended up getting to shore using the esky as a life preserver. Oh. <laughs> so you sunk the man's houseboat. Okay, well, okay, <laughs> alright, perhaps. But the rest of the homebrew was in the esky, so crisis averted. <laughs> anyway, then the next day, I heard about the crocodiles. That's it. When I grow up, I want to be a location Oh, scout. well, <laughs> you did ask for my best story, not my average day. <laughs> Thanks. Wow. Thank you. Ashan, I imagine you would have a good ghost hunting story or two. <laughs> no, not really. Come on. Oh, uh, well, it all seems a bit silly now. All that time creeping around haunted houses with whatever equipment we could scratch together. I really don't know what we thought we could achieve. Well, I think you were passionate about the questions you wanted answered. I think we were ridiculous. And brave enough to appear ridiculous in asking them. <laughs> wow, this is like the best cheese on toast I've ever seen. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to go check on the party pies. The other day, Maxwell told me a story about ghost children in the hotel. <clears throat> Why isn't that story in your Sonicsberg book? Um, well, Chris and I recorded it, of course, but I thought, firstly, it wasn't really a Sonicsberg story, and secondly, it wasn't in the best taste, given the event was still quite recent. That's very thoughtful of you, Ashan. Hmm. Can't believe we forgot to get any new goss on the Jade situation. Well, maybe there was no new goss to get, apart from the key piece of information. Don't let Savannah near a boat. <laughs> hey, Max. Yeah. Thanks for your help today.
we are dead, but not buried. Not for you anyway, or will we? talking and we've decided we can trust you. When it comes to Jade, we are all on the same side. Thanks, that's good to know. So there's some other things that I think you should know. Okay. Something had Jade pretty scared just before she disappeared. She couldn't sleep. I, I think she was seeing things. I, talking about someone who could help and I, I thought that someone might be you. Are you there? Sorry, I'm I'm here. I Before she left, did Jay talk in her sleep at all? Did she say anything about fire? Matt. Hello? <laughs> Lily! Lily! Bye. 